Once again, welcome back to Lightcraft Academy. What is going on right now? What is this stuff? We are uh, back. This is a three location production lesson. We're going to really push the envelope. Most of the green screen, the birch production work that I've been doing has been done indoors. In other words, we're obviously in an indoor environment on a green screen but we're shooting in indoor environments. And when you are able to match up your location with your virtual location in terms of white balance and lighting, it's a lot easier to sell the shot. To make it difficult, this time we're going outdoors, but we're not just going outdoors during daylight. That would be too easy. We're going to be visiting a little cabin somewhere in the Colorado area in the mountains at dusk. And so the sun has set. It's a cold day or a cold evening the overall white balance and ambiance is very blue. Can we sell that shot? Can it appear as though I'm actually in a super cold environment? Well, that's gonna require some prompts like a winter jacket. I spent my winters in Wales, so thankfully I do have a winter jacket. And I thought we really need snow. We need to put snow on my, you know, on my shoulders and whatever hat I have. And so I had to figure out how to make snow. Turns out snow is not difficult to make. Uh, the magic ingredients are baking soda and shaving cream. And so I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator because I don't think I'm gonna be shooting this until later today or tomorrow, but I have snow. So in theory, I guess I could put some <laughs> snow if it will stay all, all over the place. Anyway, that's the fun of virtual production. Um, an another note about this set, when I make my sets in Mid-Journey, normally I give them rather elaborate instructions, very flowery language. I just said this morning, make me a grungy garage, something that looks like it's been beaten up and perhaps abandoned, and uh, this is what it, it gave me. Um, also, there's a feature that I haven't been using that I want to start using more, uh, and, and that's the widen out uh, feature in mid-journey. A lot of times the mid-journey graphics are very tight. With the widen out feature, you get a much wider view. And I did that and I'm liking the fact that I'm not right up against that back wall. So uh, more on that later, we're going to now transport ourselves to a really cool LED lit studio, a place that I could spend a lot of time in if it were real, but we'll make it look real. So be back uh, in just a flash. Okay, welcome back. Uh, got a lot going on here. When you can, as much as possible, uh, it's a great idea to sandwich yourself between some real objects. In this case, I have an actual microphone and then I have an actual uh, light here. And uh, that just sort of adds to the, the uh, sense of reality when you're working on a virtual set, when you can have something that you can work with in front and work with behind you. Uh, it, it kind of all, all comes together. Anyway, we're talking about this challenge that I can go out and uh, create the illusion that I'm in a, uh, on a snowy hill in Colorado. We're going to take a look at that. Um, no guarantees, we'll give it a try. It's the first attempt at doing something at, at night or at dusk outdoors in a snowy environment where you need a lot of ambient blue uh, late night, um, light temperature, and, uh, and it's gonna require some snow, some baking soda, shaving cream going to require some wind and uh, just some ambient noise. So we'll give that a try. Um, let's go to Colorado. In the heart of the Colorado mountains where the snow falls endlessly and time feels frozen, a lone figure stands in the cold. Behind him, a cabin warm and inviting. Smoke curls from the chimney and the soft hum of Christmas music drifts through the air. But why does he wait at the end of the snowy path as night begins to fall? Who is he and what secret does he carry? Attempt at doing a nighttime shot in Colorado, uh, virtual set, going outdoors and doing it the hard way, not doing it uh, 
Uh, daylight, I think, would be a lot easier because it would be easier to, met, to, to sort of uh, match the, the light temperature. But at night, uh, when I'm using a lot of light, I'm lighting up a bright green screen to then create the illusion that you are uh, outdoors and it's chilly and you have snow that's not really snow on your shoulder, the whole thing. That's what makes virtual production so much fun. Uh, as always, and I say this every time, thank you very much. Please do subscribe. Reach out uh, via my email if you'd like to have access to what is, I think, um, I think we're at 305 uh, high definition 4K, 6K images for Jet Set. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you.